This is the Star News Brief. I'm Samuel Otieno. Deputy President William Ruto and ODM boss Raila Odinga have launched parallel assaults on Wiper leader Kalonzo Musyoka's political base, threatening to flip Okambani region into a battleground. The two main protagonists in the 2022 presidential contest are in an all-out political war toward the 1.6 million Okambani voters nine months to the polls. In their aggressive campaigns, they are more likely to weaken Kalonzo's grip on his own political bastion, a development that would throw the Wiper boss's 2022 plans into Jeopardy. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com. The UK government has dismissed claims it has stopped the recruitment of Kenyan health professionals to work in the National Health Service. There were reports that nurses were not going to be recruited since Kenya had been put in the Amber List category. However, the UK has clarified saying the recruitment mechanism will continue and has been strengthened in accordance with WHO Code of Practice. The Health Ministry and the UK government signed a Memorandum of Understanding in July 2021 that will see Kenya's health workforce recruited to UK hospitals. A public health specialist has raised questions about declining COVID-19 cases despite more political rallies and disregard for containment measures. The positivity rate is 2.5% and no death was reported on Wednesday. The Ministry of Health said, global public health expert Dr. Bernard Muye said that surprisingly there's also no upsurge in admissions or deaths. Since President Uhuru Kenyatta ended the curfew on Mashujande, most COVID-19 measures except wearing masks are not being adhered to in public places. The High Court on Friday declined to lift the red alert by government barring self-declared national resistance movement quote-unquote General Miguna Miguna to enter Kenya. No airline is allowed to let him board a flight for Kenya while the red notices are in effect. Judge Henry Gongundi said there was no evidence showing Miguna has been stopped from returning to the country. He is a dual Kenyan national and a Canadian citizen. The ANC party leader Musalia Mudavadi has pledged to give direct cash transfers and universal health care to vulnerable Kenyans if he wins next year's polls. Mudavadi further pledged to offer retirement schemes to both formal and informal sector workers. He said that the constitution requires the government to commit to progressive realization of the rights of all Kenyans in Article 43. The article demands the highest standard of health care and services, education, accessible and adequate housing, food security, access to clean water and social security to all Kenyans. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com.